<clears throat> now, further, we need to move into types of ratios, which is a very, very important topic. Inverse ratio, you got an idea of what inverse ratio is. So, suppose you have A is to B and its inverse ratio is going to be B is to A. Then you have what you call as compound ratio, which is going to be, if you take two ratios, A by B and C by D, and the ratio obtained by compounding these is AC by BD, or in other words, AC is to BD. That means, when you talk about a compound ratio, you multiply the corresponding consequence and the corresponding uh, antecedents, sorry, and the corresponding consequence, and the new ratio that you get is called the compound ratio. Then we have duplicate ratio, which is obtained by multiplying the antecedent and consequence. So suppose if you take uh, a ratio 2 by 3, its duplicate ratio is going to be 2 square by 3 square, that is 4 upon 9. That means it's the same as if you compound a ratio by itself, that is 2 by 3 into 2 by 3. You multiply 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. So, you are co practically compounding a ratio by itself once more and you get 4 by 9. That is the duplicate ratio. Similar to that, you have the triplicate ratio. Triplicate ratios, you are compounding 3 times. So, 2 by 3 into 2 by 3. So, it's basically 2 by 3 cube which is going to be 8 by 27. So, the triplicate ratio of 2 by 3 is 8 by 27. Then, you have subduplicate ratio, which is the reverse of this. Subduplicate ratio means the ratio which on duplicating gives the given ratio. So, for example, suppose you have 25 by 36. You have a particular, the given ratio is 25 by 36. Its sub duplicate ratio will be square root of 25 upon square root of 36, that is 5 by 6. And we have sub triplicate ratio, which is just the reverse of the triplicate ratio, which is the cube root of the given ratio, is the sub triplicate ratio. So, suppose you have 64 by 27 and you want to find the sub triplicate ratio of this. So, it's going to be cube root of 64 upon cube root of 27 which is going to be 4 upon 3. So, the sub triplicate ratio of 64 by 27 is 4 by 3 and remember the triplicate ratio of 4 by 3 is 64 and the sub triplicate ratio is of 64 by 27 is 4 by 3. So, whatever is the triplicate ratio of a particular thing, so of a particular ratio, the other one would be the sub triplicate ratio of this. So, they share a kind of an inverse relationship. So, that's a brief idea. Then, continued ratio is as I told in all these cases, we took ratio containing two terms. So, if it is a ratio containing more than two terms, then you're continuing the process of ratioing. I, I gave you the example of the angles of a triangle. So, the angles of a triangle could be in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, we say this is a continued ratio which has got more than two terms. Hence, we have the inverse ratio. We have the inverse ratio. We have the compound ratio. We have the duplicate ratio, triplicate ratio, subduplicate ratio sub triplicate ratio and the continued ratio as I said if there are more than two terms it's a ratio of three terms four terms five times four to five terms or six terms we call it as a continued ratio now so much in such a big list maybe we could try to recap again once more with a few more live examples let's see what we have ahead <laughs>